All right, guys, welcome back to Assassin's Creed 3, and we're just going to get started with this big boat. Let's make sure when we jump. Okay, we're good. Let's just go to this big boat. Man, I don't want to drive a boat right now. Okay, whatever. We'll go do the boat thing. Are we going to drive a boat right now? Come aboard and feast your eyes, boy. No, 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 not the left foot. Never the left foot. Horrible look. Step with your right foot first. She is... solid? Aye. Weatherly and sleek. She'll fetch 12 knots in a stiff gale, ne'er a ship from here to Singapore can outrun her on her best day. What do you say we take her out? Show you what she can do first hand. Where would we go? As it happens, she still needs guns and the officers to command them. We'll launch straight away. <laughs> Don't worry, lad. I'll make sure you sprout good sea legs. Okay. Uh, sure. Let's Hold go. the mainsail! Get up the rigging! Hand over fist! Come on, men! Let's get her out where she needs to be. This is going to be sick, dude. This is going to be freaking awesome. Oh, dude. A freaking eagle. Nice. I'm wondering if I, it looks like I'm wearing jeans underneath these. Never mind. Okay. Let's go, baby. We're gonna be sailing across the sea. Come on, come on, she won't bite. Oh she's biting her I'm just kidding. She it wasn't I'm just I uh, was a joke. Dude, this is sick. This thing is huge. She's a nimble vessel, but the faster she goes, the more cumbersome she grows. And the firmer your hand needs to be. Enjoy this stretch of open water before we come upon those shallows. Shallows? Call for full sail if you like. Full sail? How do I do full that? Sail. Oh, there Unfurl we go. Everything. Full sail. Dude. Make me go faster. I want to be speedy fast, baby. Oh, my God. That boat better not get in my way. Get out of here, boat. So get the fuck out of here! So if we want full synchronization, we can't take any damage. Oh, oh baby. Connor, you learn fast! You learn real fast! Watch out for that big boat. Big boat is just constantly getting my goddamn way. It's starting to really piss me off. Don't run into the little boat. Little boat, go away! Little boat! Fuck! I swear to God. You wrinkled bitch! Oh, hello, Miss Mandy. You're looking every bit as ravishing as I remember. Hmm. After all these years, you sail all the way to the vineyard to pay me compliments. We are looking for David and Richard Clutterbuck. Hmm. Nice to see you, too. Robert Faulkner. Where the hell you been? Sorry for leaving like I did, lads, but where I was going, no one could know. You two working much? No. Between contracts at the moment. Well, we're looking for gunnery officers. What would you two say to working with me again? We'd be for getting into a few more scraps. <laughs> <laughs> Good show. The Aquila is a fine vessel. We're fitting all the guns as we speak. Looks like your friend's about to catch a beating. Where is Charles Lee? I don't much care for your tone, boy. Hey, you don't want to be doing that, Biddle. Bobby Faulkner turned to wet nursing. Could you finally realize you're a shite sailor? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not in here, gentlemen. Better still, not at all. Bobby, take your friends and get out! Let's go, boys. Our guns ought to be ready. Come on. <sighs> Connor's already trying to 
kill people. Alright, Connor. You ready to blow some shit up? It is getting hotter and hotter in my fucking room. Looks like a British frigate with half seas over. I have to like close all my windows so there's no sound coming from outside. And it just gets really fucking hot in here. Okay. I got it. Now the other side. I did it. You missed. No, I didn't. I didn't miss. Oh no, okay. I have to hold it down. Fast learner. Provided something interests me. Ah. Getting a taste for the open sea, are we? We'll make a jack tar out of you yet. Now we should be getting back. The old man is like to have my hide for keeping you out so long. Okay, we'll get the hell out of here. Gunboats are about! Oh no! You've got a gun sail! Destroying property of the crown, disturbing the king's peace, take your bet! What do you do? No help but to fight back! Sink the bastard! Okay, we did it. Oh shit, really? You will say, you will say. Got it. Oh, did we hit something? No, we didn't. I didn't even hear what you said. I always have that problem with Assassin's Creed 3. The music is louder than the voice acting. Okay. Loading. Oh, there we go. And not even a goodbye before you lift. Sorry. Well, what are you waiting for? Put them on. Dude. No freaking way. Once upon a time, we had a ceremony on such occasions. But I don't think either of us are really the type for that. You have your tools and training, your targets and goals. And now you have your title. Welcome to the Brotherhood, Connor. Oh, shit. We got our costume, baby. Oh, uh, let's go fucking knock on some doors and get some candy. Oh, back in real life. Be happy or to There's actually not really. good news for once. Yeah? I've managed to locate a power source, and it's relatively close by. Up for a trip to Manhattan? Is it safe to leave? Abstergo's gotta be looking for us. Obviously it's not safe. Can't exactly sit around here hoping to get lucky, though, can we? We need that power source. Besides, I'm sure you can cook up some way to hide our movements. Maybe. The Templars have access to all kinds of satellites and camera systems. We'll need to find a way to mask our digital signature. I can probably camouflage the van, too. But there's not much I can do for us. That's an easy one. Huh. <laughs> 
companies have assured the public that they're completely prepared for the upcoming solar maximum. Disruptions to service are expected to be minimal. If only they knew. What's this? A remote operated camera. It'll provide us with a feed while you're on mission. This will let us talk to each other. We're almost there, so listen up. The artifact is in an office penthouse in Lower Manhattan. At this time of night, direct infiltration is gonna get you noticed. I think we're better off having you drop in from above. What do you mean, above? Oh no! Oh no! We got a cool backpack. How do you get the money for this type of stuff? Testing. Testing. One, two, three. Yep. Reach you just fine. Now why don't you power up the camera? I've got pictures. Running diagnostics. Perfect. I've got a nice, strong signal. Just a heads up. There's no elevator access from here on out. You'll have to get up there the old-fashioned way. Oh, this is gonna be fun. You get the climb. Oh, dude, this is sick. Oh, Holy oh, shit. Seriously, Sean? Fuck you. <laughs> Come on, baby. Just get up there. Yeah! Yeah! You did such a good job. Dude, that is a fucking crazy view. Dude, this is fucking sketchy. Almost there, Desmond. Once you reach the top of the lit up crane, Ooh. you should be high enough to make the jump. She's Shoot. making me It'll squirm. Oh, here we go, baby. Here we go. Jump when you're ready, but wait for my signal to open the chute. Timing's really important here. Too soon or too late, and you'll miss the building. Okay. I'll trust I trust ya. No! Now, open your chute now! Wrong way! Did you jumped totally the wrong way? Holy shit. No 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 no, you're still going the wrong way! No, brother! You're going the wrong way! No, you got it. No, you're gonna survive. Don't worry about it. He's got it, right? <laughs> Damn it. Okay, that's pretty simple. They didn't really make it that complicating. I just fucking... I fucked around with the joystick too much. We're on the roof, baby. That wasn't so bad. So, you must be Desmond. Not exactly what I expected, but I guess your kind doesn't have many options. Who are you? Ask your father. Now give me that. I don't think so. Look. I'm not supposed to kill you. But the boss man didn't say anything about fucking you up. So you got to the counter. Dude, uh, fucking me up? Please. So who the hell is Daniel Cross? Believe it or not, he used to be an assassin. The assassin, the way I've heard it told, but it turned out he was a sleeper agent for Abstergo, programmed to infiltrate and destroy the organization. How did he know you were there? We could be compromised. They must have caught me snooping inside their network and sent Cross to see what we were after. If they were aware of our current location, we'd know. Though, I will say this, doesn't bode very well for future expeditions. I've set up some cameras topside. 
If anyone shows up, we'll see it. I'd suggest you go see about finding a socket for that power source. Or we can return to Connor if you prefer. All the artifacts in the world won't mean a thing without the key. This lady better not talk to me. I swear to God. Only one way to find out. Alright, we'll go check that out when we get the next power source. Another place just opened up for me. I'd rather not fuck with that. Back in the Animus! Good luck, Desmond. These are troubled times. The already uneasy alliance between the Crown and its subjects phrase. And behind them both the Templars plot. Pulling strings and moving pieces. History dictates they seek order through control. But how will they affect it here? Who supports them? And what conspiracies have they already spun? All these things I must determine. For only by knowing my enemy can I hope to stop them. Kana! Spare a moment. Of course. Have a look. What is it? Shin Bao. Oh, he looks older. Roped out, if you prefer. One of the many plans given to us by Shao Yun to... <sighs> Sorry. We'll have to work on this. Hello? Ganondogo. Yes, my friend. What brings you here? Is the village all right? For now. What do you mean? What has happened? Men came, claiming we had to leave. They said that the land was being sold, and that the Confederacy had consented. We sent an envoy, but they would not listen. You must refuse! We cannot oppose the Satcham, but you're right as well. We cannot give up our home. Do you have a name? Do you know who is responsible? He is called William Johnson. Where is Johnson now? In Boston, making preparations for the sale. Sale? This is theft! Kana, take care. These men are powerful. What would you have me do? I made a promise to my people. If you insist upon this course of action, seek out Sam Adams in Boston. He'll be able to help. What have you done? When my people go to war, a hatchet is buried into a post to signify its start. When the threat is ended, the hatchet is removed. Uh, you could have used a tree. Dude. Yeah, and oh, I'm just I just want to say this real quickly. It kind of looks like it's from Home Depot. That you, got, you buy it from Home Depot? I'm not and I'm not I mean, oh my god, we're finally here. That took forever. And I'm talking about more than a sternly worded letter. Ah, Connor. Hello again. What brings you to Boston? You. Would you excuse us, fellows? Thank you. That conversation was about to turn unpleasant. Now, what can I do for you? I was hoping you could help me locate William Johnson. Of course. I'm headed to a meeting with some men who should be able to help. Why don't you come along? Ah, it's good to see the people finally taking a stand against injustice. Says the man who owns a slave. <laughs> Ooh, sorry? I practice what I preach, my friend. She's not a slave, but a freed woman. At least on paper. Men's minds are not so easily turned. It's a tragedy that for all our progress, still we cling to such barbarism. Then speak out against it. We must focus first on defending our rights. When this is done, we'll have the luxury of addressing these other matters. You speak as though your condition is equal to that of the slaves. It is not. 
Tell that to my neighbor who was compelled to quarter British troops, or to my friend whose store was closed because he displeased the crown. Oh. Hey! It's my home! No matter what you thieves call taxmen say! If there comes in Parliament who want to take my property, you tell them to sail across the pond and take it themselves! It's not open for discussion now! Open this door or these men will break it down! Ah! Ah, Get pissed on, dude. I trust the mounting evidence is proof enough, Connor. Continue on. I shall meet you at our destination. Dude, they, he just pissed all over them. Come on, why can I hit shit right now? There we go. I gotta help him, or he's gonna die. Stop it with your nonsense and die. Good job. Justice for once. I dare the governor to send more. You all right? I'm fine. It's not my first dance. For all their teeth and claws. These little foxes, they fight like puppies. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. I'd buy you a nail, but uh, I'm expecting somewhere else. Perfect. We saved his freaking life. Oh, we're already. Oh my god, this is gonna be so much fun. I'm so excited. Well, guys, check this out. Like and subscribe. Okay, fuck yeah, we're here, took forever. Connor, I'd like you to meet some like-minded friends. The owner of this fine establishment, William Molyneux, and the manager and chef of his newest venture, Stéphane Chaffaut. Ah, Connor and I just had a ball uh, with some red coats and forcing some tax men outside my home. The collectors grow bolder and more forceful. Something we must address, Samuel. Then let us raise a banner. Something to let the people know that they are not alone. The docks are an angry place of late. Protesters picketing the latest shipments of British tea. The eyes of the city are upon that stage. A Bostonian without his tea is a dangerous beast. William Johnson is smuggling the tea off the ships. One of his men tried to sell me this. A sample of what I refused, but it's from those ships. No mistaking the stamp. He's charging a king's ransom. Must be he's making a mint off those who buy it. Where is he now? I've never met the man. May I ask why you seek him, Connor? He intends to purchase the land upon which my village stands without the consent of my people. No doubt the revenue from his little smuggling endeavor is financing the acquisition. Tax enforced on tea grants a boon to smugglers. I'll wager the same men who levy the taxes are selling the tea. A stage requires a spectacle, and I may know the play. Perfect. Connor, head back to the docks and see to the destruction of the tea. If you should need us, return here. All right. Ah. <sighs> Is that it? Pardon me. Oh, come on, mate. Dude, Connor, watch out! Connor! Oh shit, he's okay. All right. Oh come on! No, I just. Let's find a poster. There should be a poster around here. All right, there's just more guards. A lot more guards. Dude, they're everywhere. Finally, we are here. You would not even know how many people I had to kill just to get over here. I have, like, the biggest wanted. I'm super... I Like, I have a big-ass bounty right now, man. That's what I'm trying to say. Get your ass out of here. Come on, fellas. Let's just finish this already, all right? Oh, what do you want me to do? Oh, I see.
first one is down. Got it. Oh, okay, is that it? Please tell me that's it. Oh, another freaking... I gotta go all the way over there? Do you know how many people I might have to kill just to... Oh, we can kill this guy. There we go. One's dead. Is that a poster? I need to tear that poster down. Okay. Is that it? Yes, we did it. Alright, guys. That is it for today. I do hope you have enjoyed. And I'll see you guys next time. Um, but yeah, peace.